The new LabVIEW for NXT is great for getting your robot up and running right away. Open your project and make sure you're connected to your NXT brick. Then we need to go into our schematic editor and make sure that all of our motors and sensors are configured. It should resemble how your robot is all connected. I don't have any NXT motors, but I have a left and right motor, a touch sensor, and also a servo motor. The really nice thing about this schematic editor is that it will allow you to test out your sensors and motors right away on the left hand side of the schematic diagram. So I'm pressing my touch sensor and you can see that it is reacting and showing the levels in the little graph in the lower left hand corner. I've always found it a little difficult to find the exact position I want for a servo motor. The nice thing with the schematic editor is you can also test servo motor positions. Enable the servo, move the position. It should move on your robot right away. Make sure you save your schematic diagram. Go ahead and close it. One way to test your robot is to make a new VI, either edit the autonomous mode or click the button for a new VI. Let's say you want to try out the remote control. You go under remote control and edit the default configuration. First, let's get our controller set up to drive it. You get three choices, tank drive, arcade right and arcade left. You pick the one that you like the most. Personally, I like arcade left. Choose your controller and make sure that the left and right motors are set. You can also pick how much power that you want your robot to have. Maybe you pick something low so that you can have a turbo button which will give you more control over gameplay. To create a turbo button, let's go into configure robot action. This is what we do when we want to set buttons to do certain tasks. On my driver controller, I want to have a button one, and when I press it, I want it to change the speed. Set an action, change drive power. And now, if I press this button, I want it to drive at 100%. I also want to have some buttons that control the servo motor. You can see buttons that have already been programmed, they have an asterisk. For servo motors, choose the action Move to Position. Select your servo and then choose the position. I want to have another button which you'll see is this green button up here. Move the servo back. Now I'm ready to save all my work. And if we were going to the competition, we would want to generate the code that we would download onto the brick. But today I don't want to generate the code. I just want to test it out by running the program. If your controller is plugged in, it should show up on the list or else click on refresh. Your NXT name and connection type for me today is USB. Make sure you set that in the previous window if it's not showing up. Since I'm just prototyping and testing it out, choose prototype and click start test. And you should be able to control your robot via the USB cable.